just steps from the green in West Hartford's Blueback Square. Artist Corey Payne is raising his profile once again. Yeah, <laughs> back at it. Red bricks are turning crimson. There are shades of beige among the colorways. I'm just trying to like kind of match up the tones and get all the shading. Oh, oh it's awesome. We it have really been is. so enjoying this walking by and, and seeing it in progress. In his world, what's larger than life comes with the job title. So this extends all the way down the corridor here. How, how big is this? I'd say it's about maybe 80 feet wide and then another 30 feet tall. Pretty big. Last month, Corey was busy changing the landscape in downtown Hartford. The focus this week to honor Juneteenth. This is a great spot. Like so many people walk through this spot. I feel like it's kind of more of a traffic area than the last one. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, good job. But this is all supposed to be about like civil rights theme and Martin Luther King and spreading his message. Aligned with the Rise Up organization, this is all part of what's called MLK 39. With spray cans in hand, mural artists across Connecticut are paying tribute. So these are all like local uh, West Hartford people? To equal rights leaders, both local and national. That is Ella Baker on his left and then Bernard Lafayette on his right. They were like civil rights activists that worked with him a lot, like in the 60s and everything. And Bernard Lafayette is still alive and I think he's going to come to the unveiling on Saturday for Juneteenth. And at the West Hartford Library, this is a new chapter designed to make a permanent impression. It's just awesome to take up the whole side and part of the front of the library and a great statement for West Hartford. I just, I really just wanted to evoke happiness and joy and brighten up people's day. In West Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.